Hello friends, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome back to our channel. As you know, on our channel, we regularly make videos on different softwares that are being used in the field of civil engineering. And today, we are going to describe Tecla structures. Now, what is Tecla structures? So, Tecla structure is the most constructible BIM software that is available in the market. Now let's see what it can do. With the Tecla structures, you can create, combine, manage and share accurate multi-material 3D models full of construction information. Now what does this mean? So first of all, let's understand what is a multi-material 3D model. So when we come across this point, it is a 3D model and you can get all the informations that are required for your structure. Like you will know where the parts are placed. You will know how they are placed. You can clearly see the arrangement of the bars, the development length, the lap length, the length of extra reinforcement, everything will be so clear in this 3D model. Apart from that, it can also combine 3D models of different softwares and let you manage it in Tecla structures. You can also share the detailings of Tecla structures with the other softwares. Now let's understand what is BIM. So it is building information modeling. So suppose you are working on a project and in that project, obviously only one person will not be involved. There will be a number of persons from the different fields which will be involved in, in the project. Who can be those persons? First, facility manager, then the owner, then the general contractor, then architect, structural designer, mechanical engineer, fabricator, site manager, erector, and everyone will perform their job. Now, what a BIM software does, it will collect information from all these persons and make it available for everyone. So, suppose a erector will need some information in the project. So he will not go to the architect. He will just find the required information from the BIM software because the architect has given all the information that he has to the software. Similarly, if the general contact contractor will need some information, then he will just feed his requirement in the software and it can be fulfilled by the designated person like the structural engineer. So this was a brief introduction about building information modeling. Now let's see the applications of Tecla structures. So first is detailing. Now what is detailing? Whenever a detailer receives a structural drawing from the structural designer then he will make a elaborated drawing in that drawing everything will be mentioned like the length of the extra reinforcement lap length development length how the parts will bend at what angles they will bend and everything will be mentioned by the detailer in detail. Now, this detailer will use a detailing software. So, here the Tecla structures come and Tecla structures will do the detailing part. Now, our second point is information management. As I discussed in my previous slide, what is BIM? So, what was it doing? It was managing all the information from the various persons involved in the project. 
or third point is create information based 3D models. I have already explained this in my second slide. And our fourth application is design of form work. So in any designing software, form work can't be designed. But obviously you need accurate measurement of the form work that you are going to use in your project. And you can design that form work in the Tecla structures. So these were the applications of the Tecla structures. Now let's sum up what we have covered in this video so far. So first, we discussed what is Tecla structures, then what is PIM, then the application of the Tecla structures. Now let us know what else do you want to know about the Tecla structures and we will make a video on that too. Or even if you want us to make a video on some other software, please drop a comment in the comment box. And if you like our videos, please like it, share it with your friends and colleagues and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.